So when I grow up, coach, what are you gonna be when you grow up? Hey, it's Friday night. Um, I'm wearing sequins. Sequins. Uh, but I had to. I had to jump on here, um, and hopefully we won't talk too long. Uh, but I'm in such a sweet spot right now, and I just had to share it with you because I feel like lately all I've been giving you is uh, kind of the crappy stuff, like the overwhelm and the um, brain dumps and the time management challenges and. Um, I definitely won't stop sharing that with you because uh, this is part of the reason I'm here and you're here is for for me to hopefully uh, help you along your journey by you helping me on my journey. It's how blogs work, right? I love it. Um, so now that I'm feeling like I'm in my sweet spot and I'm doing some work around uh, what is off and what's making me so feel this overwhelm and what is literally giving me knots in my stomach, um, which I realized I started feeling pretty hardcore this week um, and because it was hard for me to pinpoint why I was feeling knots in my stomach at certain times when I noticed it I started to be mindful of the opposite so when when wasn't there knots in my stomach and I found that um, when I was coaching whether on the phone or in person but especially in person um, and I have started doing that sporadically um, whenever the schedules gel with me and my, my client and the locations gel. Um, so it's not happening super often, but it's it's happening more than it has been, and that's been great. That's such a uh, good key thing for me to connect with um, my clients that way and just be out amongst people and be talking to them um, is really nice. Uh, and, and it's when I'm, you know, away from my office space and, and working in like a coffee shop. And also when I'm, I'm out with my friends, uh, I'm at a networking thing, I'm, I'm like away from my office space. So my office space is giving me um, stress uh, for the most part or else like my mind is very cluttered when I'm, when I'm home. And then when I step out of it, it's, it's better and I feel more relaxed and not as rushed. Um, so I'm realizing because of that, a very scary thing for me that I have to stop becoming, I have to stop being a one woman band. Um, I have to give up some of the control of the tasks that I've really been holding onto, like billing, like nudging my clients. Um, and not that I'm going to have other people send my emails, but I need to have someone else on top of, uh, keeping track of where all my clients are in the process. Um, in terms of, you know, how they're paying and what session they're on and what they need from me and what I need to get them. Um, and and I need someone to take that off of my hands so I can concentrate on the coaching, the, the writing. Um, I really like the writing part. And uh, whether it's for this blog or, or doing some guest posts or um, my newsletter, uh, you know, it's all like, pieces of um, the career that I want to build for myself and I also I have a bunch of projects in my head like an e-course that's gonna start in October that's a teaser I just have to keep coming back um, to find out more about it uh, it's gonna be announced soon what um, I'm such a tease uh, and so you know there, there's stuff going on that I'm feeling um, you know just uh, I want to be able that's that's the crux of my business and that's where the next level is going to be for me. I hate using that word because it sounds like, oh, this is going to be a new, a new level. And no, it's not. It's just, an, it's just a different way for me to do my business than I, than I have been doing it. And I need the help. Um, and I know that I need the help in order to grow my business. But not only does the control match in with that or the sharing of the control, but money comes into play. So right now I've had really low overhead. It's just paying for basic office supplies and my CRM product, uh, Batch Book, which I love if you're looking for something like that, and my newsletter, MailChimp, um, and that's like it. And then some sporadic things here and there. My advertising on Kind Over Natter and Kelly Ray Roberts' blogs, I love both of those ladies. Um, and so now it's like, oh, I'm going to have to pay someone to do my billing and to do this admin stuff, and uh, um, it this is where it's getting scary. So five months in, oh, I think it might be five months into the day today. Um, that's really telling. So five months in from freeing myself of my corporate handcuffs, um, 
I am here uh, looking at all the good stuff, creating space for myself, not waiting for the other shoe to drop, not taking my success, oh, it's hard to say that word, I don't really want to own it yet, but I will, not taking my success for granted, but not, um, not uh, discarding it either not waiting for the other shoe to drop, not thinking it's a jinx or beginner's luck, just really trusting it today in this day, in this moment. And um, that's been, a, that's been an, an important thing for me. Uh, and it's scary to tell people that are on a consultation call with me and say, when can we start? And now I have to say October. Um, it kind of blows my mind and I, and I don't, there's a part of me that doesn't like it because I don't want to tell anyone that they have to wait that long to be coached. Um, but I know that that's what I have to do to um, create the business and the life that I want to give myself the energy and the self care that I need to give to my clients um, and to just, you know, keep it all going. So uh, thanks for letting me share my sweet spot with you and some of the nice stuff that's, that's coming and I'll continue to keep you posted as always. And thanks for, um, always cheering me on and, and, and walking me through this. I really appreciate it. So I'll see you soon. So when I grow up, coach, what are you going to be when you grow up? That was balls.